Today we'll be learning some things about how to make and prepare slides for your observation under the microscope. First, there's no mystery to cleaning the slides. There is this pink spray in around the room. Spray a little on the slide. Grab yourself a piece of paper towel and wipe that down. The slides that we prepare uh, today will be of plant cells, a potato, a celery, the apple. We will be preparing slides uh, in what we call a wet mount, and uh, the wetness is coming from water. So I take my slide, take my pipette with some distilled water and we'll put a drop on that slide. You will find at the cutting board stations that we have some celery, some apple, and some potato. Uh, the apple has some yellow skin on it today and we have a red potato. Um, you can take opportunities to look at both the skin and the central area of those fruits. To sample a potato, one will take a scalpel and slice the potato so you have something you can work with. Most young biologists tend to over imagine what they need on their cover slip. You're going to try to cut an extremely thin slice. And you'll use your scalpel to transfer that slim slice. Don't need very much. Probably have more than I need. But enough so that you can see. Bring a cover slip over. Works well to catch some water. You can see it come under the cover slip, come at about a 45 degree angle. And then with something as soft as potato, we can push down on that right on the cover slip and spread some cells out a little bit. That is ready for viewing under the microscope. Second thing I'd like you to do today with each of your samples is after you've viewed them as simply a wet mount, to add some Ruger's stain, combination of iodine and potassium iodide. This is kind of fun. You get yourself some paper towel. You take the eyedropper with Ruger's stain. You make sure you place that somewhere you're unlikely to spill it. While you put a drop to one side of the slide, you can hold the paper towel on the other side. That will help draw some liquid through and thoroughly stain your specimen. What I'll be showing you with the celery are two basic cuts. First cut I will make is called a longitudinal, excuse me, the first cut I make is called a cross cut. I'm going to slice right across the celery stem. I'll show you from this angle how to get a very thin cross section. That can be placed on the microscope slide. And if you wish, you can even place a second sample on your microscope slide. Now we'll do the longitudinal section, or the long way. 
just get a start with a cross, come back for the long way. Now come back for the long way, get a very, very thin sample. We've got our thin sample. Add some water. On a cover slip. And again, after viewing that under the microscope, you can add some Luger's iodine solution and use a paper towel to help pull that across to stain your samples. Finally we'll get a look at some human cheek cells. Kind of fun to look at your own cells. Just place a drop of water on the slide. Get a sterile toothpick from your teacher. Uh, when you take the toothpick, try to just grab the edge so you don't touch all the other toothpicks. You want to come inside the cheek. You're not digging into your cheek. You're simply rubbing the side of your cheek. Should come out a little slimy. You have to believe there's things there, because there are. But you won't see them with your naked eye. Spread them out nice and thin. Use a cover slip. And I'd suggest putting some iodine underneath that cover slip. Again, help draw it through as necessary. And get a look under the microscope.